Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to make custom brushes here inside of Photoshop Elements, like I used to paint that cloud in right back there. Making a custom brush is actually easy. The hard part is just getting the picture right for the project. So let's switch over here, and I'll be using this cloud photograph. So the first thing we need to do is to download this picture, and I got this from Pixabay. Let me show you that. Here we go. I'll put this link in the description so you can get right to this page. And then just download this onto your hard drive. Just choose download. Choose a place where you can find easily. And then we'll be using this picture inside of the project. Let's go back to our project now. There we go. The first thing I'll do here is just to crop in a bit on this and get rid of a lot of the stuff that we don't need outside there. So over here to the crop tool, and I'll pull the crop in a bit here from the top, bottom, and sides. And just minimize some of that excess stuff out there. There we go. The next thing I want to do is to remove some of the things that are kind of close to the edge in here. And for that, we'll zoom in. I'm using the scroll wheel on the mouse to make this zoom. And if you don't know how to do that, go up here to edit, come down to preferences, general, and it's right on the first page right here, zoom with scroll wheel. Okay, I'll switch over to the clone stamp tool right here. Here's our clone stamp tool. Make a duplicate of the background. I always like to do this, duplicate, choose okay. Just in case we can always go back to that background if we mess things up. And I'll start off right here, just a little alt and click, and then paint some of that sky in. And let's go around this a little bit here and remove some of the stuff that we don't want. It's pretty crowded up here, so I'll have to do just a few steps like that to get it nicely cleaned out. This just makes it a bit easier for our final brush. And there we go, just a bit of this in here. If you have this kind of a gradient where it's lighter on the bottom, darker on the top, try working directly sideways and you get the best results. And a little more over here, just alt click and then copy that over. There we go. That's pretty good. We're kind of cleaned up away from the edges. That's fine. Let's now convert this over into a black and white image. And you can do this any way that you want. Doesn't really matter. I'll just use the enhance convert to black and white. Looks fine. Now we want to have more contrast. We might as well get some contrast in here. Infrared works out pretty well for that. Choose OK. That just helps you separate things out. Now the way brushes work, you want them to be black for the thickest part of the brush and clear for the thinnest part of the brush. So if we're painting in white, we need then to have this as a negative so that the black part of the clouds becomes painted white with the white paint. So for that, go up here to Filter, come down to Adjustments, and then Invert. There's our inversion. Now we need to remove the background in here, get rid of that. And the easy way is just to make a layer mask. And for our layer mask, I'll go over here to Basic Selection Tools, and I'll use this the Quick Selection right here. And let's choose new selection and then just begin to paint into the clouds. Don't go too far, it's going to jump over the whole picture. If it does that, you just use the control Z to back up that one step. So take your time, just do a little motions in here and grab the clouds. Do a little bit of this stuff over here as well. There we go and get this cloud out here. And some of these little stray things around down here would be nice. And over here and around here. Notice it jumped too far that time, so Control Z to back that up. I guess I'll ignore that cloud. Get a bit in here. Okay, we have our basic selection. Let's now clean the edge up. And for this, we'll use the Refine Selection Brush tool right here. It's just like using the Refine Edge tool, but it's just a brush. Your size is right here. I'll put it at 35. Snap Strength 75. That's fine. I'll leave all these at their basic settings. And we're just going to brush right around the edges of the whole cloud. This will just soften up those edges, give us nice clean cloud edges in here. And just take your time and brush around. There we go. And we'll work all around the whole bottom section here first and then do the top section next. And let's catch this guy right over in here. I like doing this in little short strokes like that and then giving it a chance to think about it and then come back and Continue. Seems to work best in Photoshop Elements. Doesn't have to think about that many edges that way. Okay, let's do the top side now. Let's work up along here. There we go. And you can kind of see how it's giving us a real nice cloudy edge on there. It's especially apparent up here over the top side where the highest contrast was. And work around over here, down on this side. There we go, and round over to here. And we still need to get the bottom of this 
left-hand side of the picture. So get that in just a second. This I'm going just a little bit beyond sometimes, trying to get some more of that little frilly stuff that's out there. Okay, work back around here, and I think that's right about where we started at. We can put in here just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. So there's our edge. We'll now use this selection to create our layer mask, and that's up here. Hit the layer mask button, and there's the basic layer mask selection. Now you want to have nice contrast in here for this. This is already pretty good, but you can also boost your contrast. Just go over here to the image side, double click for your image side, go up to enhance, come down to lighting and levels, and let's get a bit more of a contrast boost. You're going to be a bit too much on the dark. There we go, just a little bit more contrast in there. You want to have real definite separation here for a nice cloudy look. Maybe right there is pretty good. Okay, choose OK. That's all set. We can now use this as a brush. We can clip in a bit further at this point. Back here to the Crop tool, and we'll crop in closer. Right there looks good. Hit that check mark. Okay, we can now save this out as a brush. And for that, go up here to the Edit menu, come down to Define Brush, give it a name. Choose OK. And then if we go over to the brush tool, you'll find that brush in the bottom of your brush list right down here. And there's that brush. Let's go over here to our sky picture. Now the brush is too big as we can see. So I'll use the left square bracket, bring the brush size down. Let's change our foreground color to white. And then just tap, and there's your cloud right from that cloud brush. Now we don't want to lose this cloud brush. So, going along with the video I did last time, let's go back to our brushes here. Let's change this brush set to our favorite brushes. If you missed that previous video on how I did this, I'll put a link for that in the description. So we're in our favorite brush set. Click over here, Save Brush. That saves it into the current set, and that's our favorite brush set. Choose OK. We then need to save that brush set. Over here, come down to Save Brushes, and then choose your set again. Right there, and save, and yes. And we've now saved that cloud brush into our favorites set, so we always have access to that in the future. Now, you don't have to do real fancy cloud things like this if you don't want to. You can do anything as a brush. Let's make a new file here, real fast one, blank file. I'll give this one a name here, sample brush. I'll change the size here to one inch by one inch. There we go, here's our new file. Just dock this. There it is. Choose black as your foreground color. I'll just choose a shape here from our shape set. Maybe that dog print. And I'll just put a dog print right on here. Notice how when you use the shape tool, it comes in as its own layer, and that's perfect. Let me just maximize this. There we go. Hide that background so you have just the black on a clear background. At this point, it's the exact same thing as where we had that cloud, that black and white cloud on a clear background. So all you have to do is go up to Edit, come down to Define Brush, same name as the file, choose OK. We've now saved this as a brush. Let's just see how that works. It'd be kind of silly here, but we can see it anyway. Back to the Brush tool, and there it is, and you see there's that dog print right there. If you want to find out more about how to use custom brushes and make custom brushes, work with custom brush sets, those kinds of things, then take a look at my brand new training coach for Photoshop Elements. I'll put a link for that in the description. Don't forget to click on like and also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you next time.